Internet usage in the Philippines is amongst the highest in the world. The Philippines has a population of over 100 million and a growing digital landscape. More people will expect more from their network, such as faster internet speeds, for real-time sharing, access to generous amounts of content, wider opportunities for engagement, and convenience in attaining services to fulfill their sophisticated needs. Smart, the leader in mobile, introduces breakthrough digital innovations to change the lives of Filipinos. It is committed to improve internet connectivity and is investing heavily in infrastructure to give only the best digital experience to its subscribers. Just as it did with LTE, Smart is once again paving the way and setting the industry standard in mobile connectivity speeds and experience. Smart introduces LTE Advance. Network technology, addressing the increasing demand for high-speed mobile data services. The first in the Philippines. Changing lives to change the world. Oh my gosh, I'm just super excited about that. Now let's find out more about the newest technological advancement from SMART, the LTE Advanced. From, of course, our Chief Technology and Information Advisor of PLED and SMART, Mr. Joaquim Bjorn. Yes, good evening. Thank you for coming. It's a really exciting moment for PLED and SMART here to have this first in the Philippines. And in fact, there are not many operators in the world who have done that, and I'll explain that a little bit later. But I also want to mention there are two more firsts I have to admit here. It's the first time I'm in the Porakai, and I have to say after a few hours already, I will come back for sure, and bring my family also, of course. And it's the first time that I make a presentation in shorts. I feel a little bit uncomfortable, but... Uh, huh? Big shorts. Yeah, big shorts. So, no, it's a wonderful place and I'm really glad that we are doing this here and I'm happy for all the support we have gotten from everyone to get this right. LTE Advanced, this is the first in the Philippines, but what is this? It is about making the internet faster, in a nutshell, much faster. By applying innovation to the networks we have deployed. And we're starting here in Boracay because it's a wonderful place. And we have done the first LTE launch also in Boracay. So we thought it's the best possible place to go the next step to LTE Advanced. Now what is it? LTE Advanced is also called 4.5G indicating that this is a significant step forward from 4G or LTE as we have it today already deployed. We can also call it LTE with a turbo boost because everything gets so much faster. The user experience is just so much better if you have a higher speed. But how exactly does this work? We go to the next slide. What we are doing is in principle very much comparable to a road or a highway. If you have only one lane on both sides, then of course only a few cars can travel along. If you do a road widening, you put a second lane, then don't the many cars can go or the cars go faster. And if you put three lanes, they can go three times faster or three times as many. And this is exactly what the, the innovation is in LTE which we launch here. Thanks to new capabilities in handsets, thanks to new capabilities in the network, we are now able to combine three channels of LTE at once. And by that, more than tripling the download speed. So what does it lead to? What is in it for you? We have measured here on the street, I've seen it myself here actually, 200 to 250 megabit per second with the Samsung S7 phone. 
250 megabits, think about that, it's amazing, over the air. Now I have to qualify. We know that mobile networks are shared, right? So if there are more in a cell, of course not everybody will get 250. But we have seen that even if there are like five or seven or 10 in one cell, still people will get 70, 100, 120 megabit per second. This is still an amazing speed, isn't it? Yes. I think that's something uh, we have been waiting for and it will help us to step ahead to make the internet faster. Important to know is that you need the phone, a device which supports that technology. At the moment, we know from Samsung, the S7, S7 Edge is supporting it, but many more devices we will see rolling out this year and uh, will become available not only on the high end, but stepwise also on the lower end, so that all customers eventually will be able to enjoy all of that. You will later have the opportunity to see it, but it's not only a demonstration. We are actually switching it on tomorrow. And we will cover all of Porakai, and not only here, this beautiful place, by end of, latest by end of this quarter, our internal targets by end of this month, but latest by end of this quarter, all of Porakai will be having this fantastic technology. I think it's pretty good. Next time. Now you may say, yeah, the downside is, you know, you need a special device for it. True. And uh, therefore, we call it the tip of the iceberg of the improvement efforts we are putting in into our networks in PLDT and Smart. In fact, we have been working since one and a half years to significantly improve coverage, capacity, and internet speed. Last year, for example, we have doubled the number of sites cared to 3G uh, coverage. And why are we doing that? Because most of the customers who have a smartphone have actually a 3G smartphone. Second channel. Most of the customers have a 3G smartphone. So it would be wrong to say, ah, oh, we are done with 3G, let's focus on 4G. No, we are also focusing on 3G, we are pushing the 3G button, and we are also rolling out on LTE further. So our ambition is to push both as much as we can so we improve the coverage and the internet experience for all of our customers. Even in 2G, we have brought in many improvements over the last 18 months, and we continue to do that in the next months to come. Next slide, please. And this is super exciting, because as we do that, we are building for the future already today. Here in Boracay, you can get the flavor of what the internet on the mobile handset will be able to deliver. Today we are talking about 150 to 250 megabit per second, but this will not be the end. We will stepwise continue to work on significant innovations, and whenever we are ready, we will call you again, and we will be here in, in order to launch it. And this is what is in for everybody, as I said before, a faster internet. I know how many complaints are around about slow internet. But let's be honest, it has actually already improved over the last years, and we are committed to really bring the fast internet into the hands of everybody. But that's not the only thing we are doing. As we work on the internet improvements today, better cell coverage, better speed, we are also working with our partners on preparing the future for 2020. In 2020, it's an important milestone, but network technology is concerned, we will be talking 5G. It will be even so much faster so much higher capacity, so much lower latency. Let's talk about this when the time is, is, is right. But the milestone today, 4.5G, is the first big step in this direction and we will continue to prepare that step going forward. And it serves one single most important target which we have in BLDC and Smart for all our employees, 
namely providing the best possible user experience to all of our customers. And by ending my presentation, I want to mention that we had great support from our partners from Samsung, who provided the devices, from Huawei, who provided the network technology, but also from the teams in technology, many people are here in marketing, and all the event organization here have done a fantastic job. So I want to thank you all, thank you for being here, and uh, that's all I want to share. Thank you so much.